Balloon Tower Defense 6 is a game all about proper tower placement and strategy. But what happens whenever your tower shoots, it teleports randomly around the map. This makes it impossible to strategize by placement on the map and instead forces you to focus on the rate of fire above anything else. I challenge my friend to see which of us can make it further on hard mode without the use of banana farms or global hitting towers. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. All right, so because of the fact that we have to move around all the time, we're gonna need as many towers on the field at once as possible. However, I do wanna get a Benjamin so I can get double money down because we don't have any banana farms on our side, which is not gonna be a good thing. So let's do that. We'll drop a free dart monkey down and let's just see what happens for now. Now remember, we can't do global, so you can't be doing anything like the monkey ace or you can't be having a helicopter, no snipers. Kind of limits us pretty greatly. Uh, all right, so we got all that. Let's put down a wizard tower next as well. Because eventually- Oh my gosh, he's already off the track. He's literally already off the track. No, no, not you. Okay, teleport you. So luckily enough, we do have this ability here that allows us to teleport back on the track. Dude, this is already going horribly wrong. Oh my gosh. Dude, this is gonna be impossible! I don't think we're gonna beat wave 80, let alone anything further than that. Okay, uh, well, we got that. Let's do things that'll shoot out multiple at once. So, for instance, if we were to go triple shot, then at least we're shooting out three arrows and maybe hitting a bunch of them at the same time, which would be really good for us. There we go. Oh, oh, where'd they go? Where'd they go? Oh, okay, they're both in a spot where they could pop some balloons. They're both in a good spot. Oh, no, 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 no. Come on, come on. No, get back on the track. Get back on the track. Yeah, there you go. Okay, okay, they're scoring a little bit on us. Dude, this is, this is gonna be gnarly. We really gotta think about this. All right, triple shot there. That'll help out a lot. Um, and let's do sharp shots. There we go. Cheaper towers, better. Cheaper towers, better. Actually, I might just stick to more dart monkeys after this. Dude, we already, ha they're all gonna get through again. Dude, this is insane. This is literally insane. Oh my gosh, how are you supposed to do this? All right, we'll put down another one here. You know what? I'm gonna put down another, another one. I just straight up don't even know what to do anymore with some of these. Okay, there we go. Oh, we're actually getting pops that we're actually getting somewhere. This might be the first wave where we only let one balloon through, which is kind of nutty. Um, all right, you're good, you're good. You're off the track. Get back on there. Yeah, there we go! Dude! All right, that could have been a heck of a lot worse, I feel like. I am going to start out with just a normal dart monkey. I don't think heroes are allowed but I could be wrong. Oh my goodness, why is he over here? This is going to be infuriating. Oh my goodness, is this going to be annoying? How do I deal with this? All of my monkeys are going to be all over the place, not able to see anything that's happening. Why are they in the water? What are you doing? Can I just... Oh my goodness, I found the cheat. Already, round four and I found the cheat. Um, okay, so we agreed no global, uh, monkeys. I'm thinking potentially about... No, you, you gotta stop, man. You gotta stop! I can't hit him! Auto start off. Please! Where's he at? I just want to lock him into place. We agreed we could use him if we lock him. Oh my goodness. Auto start is off, so now I'll be able to... Okay, auto start's off. We have to lock this guy into place. So I'm going to lock him here, and I'm going to upgrade him a little bit. Okay. We're good to go now. Play double speed. I think this guy is going to be my main my main guy, my main dude, because he is so useful. And then the other guys, hopefully somebody... Oh my goodness. I can't even click him to upgrade him. Like, cut me some slack here, dude. Look at that. All right. Simple dartling gunners. It's a crazy strategy, but it'll work. It'll do, donkey. Oh, yeah. There we go. Dude, all mine just went up here. Why did all mine just go up there? Oh, my God. I can't hit with any of them. There you go. There you go. There you go. Yeah! Dude, I wish you had at least some small amount of say of where on the track they go whenever you hit the button. Okay, we're at... 50 HP, we're at half health, and we're on wave 7 right now, dude. 7. That's ridiculous. Um, ooh, you know what I could do? I could do wall- If I manage to get enough money for wall of fire, that's gonna be huge. Because that'll hit balloons for a long while. That might be our solution out of this. Alright, there we go. Keep it up. Keep oh, look at this in the back there. All those towers that were waiting to pop them. 
I think we're gonna lose though. I straight up do think we're gonna lose here. Come on, come on, someone get, someone, stop that one balloon. Stop him, stop him! Uh... Doesn't even matter where I put this guy. Okay, we gotta slow down here. Dude, I can't click you. Where are you? Okay, he stopped. We can sell off a, a monkey tower or two. 970 is what I need. All right, I gotta go another round. I am actually worried about this due to the fact that, like, I don't have a Benjamin. I don't have any way of making money. It's it's just a little worrying, I guess, because I, I, I don't know what has good range but isn't a global. Uh, I, I feel like maybe Druid is what I have to go next. Because right now, I think, I could be wrong, but I think my guy can hit leads right this is gonna be a very annoying challenge however i might have found the way to beat it with the wall of fire on our side wait no way no way no way get on the track get get over the, get over the dude we're gonna have one life left i can't right now dude I mean, luckily enough, we do have the wall of fire. All right, with that now to put on the ground, right? I have a feeling. Yeah, that's what I was hoping to happen. So there we go. So that will hopefully kind of act in a, like a way that like makes it so you just have a little bit of a barrier and it didn't matter. All right, well, that was my first attempt. So I have one more do-over. I might as well use it. I'm thinking instead a crazy strategy. Something that Steve and I talked about beforehand to make sure it was allowed. So I'm going to go ahead and put down a Darling Gunner as soon as I possibly can. So I'm going to let this first wave go through. Now, the Darling Gunner is interesting. Every time he fires, he teleports around. However, his position remains locked. So he's kind of in like a weird middle ground of being global or not global. Same with the Mortar Monkey. We're allowing those. So with those two on our side, maybe we can make something where... Ooh, there's a lot of things in the way, though, on this. There's a lot, a lot of things in the way. All right. Well, let's just... Uh... I guess what we could do is we'll just lock it in like right there and if it hits the barrier at least it'll hit like right over here and that part of the track oh dude dude that's game changing all right that that actually makes me very happy um uh oh uh oh but they are starting to oh no 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 he won't stop firing so i can't grab oh my god dude i can't i literally can't grab on him i literally can't grab on him go 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 no 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 come back come back to me papa papa Oh my god, he's not gonna stop, is he? Alright, just let us wave through. Oh, he stopped most of them. Okay, so we got that part down. So with this, I'm thinking we go for advanced targeted camos and then faster barrel spin. Oh, jeez, that costs a thousand dollars, dude. Alright, that's fine. It'll be worth it. It'll be worth it once we start stacking up all these upgrades. We also have the opportunity to put down another dartling gunner early on. So we can have one that's focusing the beginning and one that's kind of focusing the end. And the two combined might be quite a deadly force. Let's do that. So we'll put down one of you there. And we'll put down the next of you, like, right here. All right, let's see if this works. Oh, dude. Dude, okay, okay, okay. Now we're actually getting somewhere, all right? With these, now we're getting somewhere fast. This is literally game changing. Dude, if I have a third one of these down even, it's over for them. Dude, some of them are still trying to get by. Not today, pal. All right, so from here, I got to be able to hit leads. So like, this guy's got to go down, and what what route gives him the ability to see leads? I think he can see leads. Mm. Pin and then double gun and then larger service area might be nice for this. I do have the this guy. So what if I I think uh, Druid with lightning storm might be the next bet. I actually don't know if this guy is going to be worth it. I don't know where he's going to put his trap down. And my thought with him was like extra money would be nice, but I don't think so. I'm going to put down another one and I'm going to lock him to a completely random position as well. So you're going to get locked to like right there. Dude, oh my gosh. All right, all right, all right. Now we just need a crisscross of this. The crisscross dartling gunner strat. I don't know if this is going to work. It might not last forever, but it'll probably at least get us to wave like 100. I can be proud of that, all right? I can be proud of that in this challenge. Let's get one more crisscross down, and then we'll work on upgrading them and maybe even getting some different types of towers out there too. So we have one there, one at the beginning, one end. So we want one facing this direction now, next, I would say. So we'll have you pointing right over there. All right, perfect. 
Dude, they're just flying all over the place. This is ridiculous. I love it. I love this so much. I am sad that I used my one mulligan up, though, already. Oh, my gosh. Okay, uh, what do we want to do? What do we want to do? Um, honestly, I'm thinking next up for us. Now, here's the problem. We eventually need something that can pop camo leads, which I think actually will end up being the dartling gunner. However, I wish there was something else we could do for it. We could do wizard monkey and do shimmer, and that would remove any kind of covering from it. Yeah! Let's do that. Let, let's go ahead, use him, go to the bottom room. Because then, too, we're also getting the necromancy, and that'll help out with a little bit of, not global, but close enough. Kind of like a little cheese of the strategy. So we got that. We got wall of fire. Then we'll get shimmer to take out any camos that pop by. And with his fireball, we'll also be able to hit camo. Let's double whammy, jablammy. I think it could work out for us. We just got to be smart about this. All right, let me put auto start back on now. Because I think things are starting to go a little bit more smoothly for us. There we go. Let the money flow through, my friends. I think I got, I think I'm doing pretty good. I'm going to be honest. I think I'm doing pretty good. And then I might even put one of these guys down. Oh, I thought I was doing good. I thought I was doing good. No longer doing good. All right. Boomerang guy. Where, which, which path has ricochet? Because that's the one I want. Okay, top route. But I'm going to pick up Red Hot as well. I think Ricochet is going to be good. I think even Ninja Monkey might be a pretty solid pickup as well for Grandmaster. Because it's got so many extra uh, attacks. Now, because we add this, we have to make sure that he's able to actually touch the trap. Oh, actually, wait a minute. No, we don't. He'll teleport himself always. Because technically, when he throws out his Wall of Fire, it's always going to land on the track in the nearest spot. And the way it works with that is even if he's off the track, it'll still go there and teleport him. So we don't have to worry about it. I'm not panicking. You're the ones that are panicking. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm panicking. I'm definitely panicking. This is bad. This is it's not a great situation we find ourselves in. Okay, Necromancer, $3,000. Fine, we'll grab that. We'll grab that. Dude, what about having something with a huge amount of range as well? So like, what if I did the Dark Knight and did the range buff for him? Would that be crazy? I don't think it would be crazy, actually. Oh, they're starting to make it somewhere. Okay, we gotta start, we gotta start wisening up here. Uh, oh my god, we can't afford it though. We can't afford the Necromancer. Alright, they started scoring on us, but now with that, that might provide us a little bit. The problem is he has to actually pop balloons first in order to spawn them in. Oh, he's doing it though, he's doing the thing, he's doing the thing. Alright, let's turn, actually, do we have to turn auto skip off for this? Yeah, we probably do. If we want to upgrade these guys, we're gonna turn it off. Okay, let's do that. Boom. Now let's see, you. Advanced Barrel Spin. That's nice. And then we can do Powerful Darts if we want, or Laser Shock. I mean, each one pops three balloons each. I kind of like the idea of going the bottom route on this. So let's save up our money, get this guy rolling. Okay, all right, we're doing a little bit better at stopping these guys in their track. There we go, Powerful Darts. Crush them. Let's save up our money. Let's see what happens. We'll save up our money until we can't stop them anymore, and then we'll try and make a decision. So we'll see where that leaves us. We might have to lose a life or two doing that, but it'll be worth it. It'll be worth it. Maybe. Maybe. Like, you gotta keep tabs on these guys to make sure that they're in the location that they need to be in. <laughs> and not off the map. I'm so tired of them going off the map. I think I think we do have this in the bag. I, th I think we're gonna be okay. I may have lost a few lives. I may still be losing a few lives. But, ultimately, not that big of a deal. Dude! All right, the strategy's working. The crazy darling gunner's everywhere. And the strategy is about to faceplant. All right, what do we have? What do we have that could thwart this permanently? Uh, Drew, your thing, Drew to the jungle, that doesn't pop leads, right? I don't think it does. Yikes, okay, you don't pop leads. Uh, dude, we're running out of ideas here. The only thing I can think of, like I said, is if we do get the knight, he'll eventually be able to do it. We can get him. Ah, uh, that's such a tough call. We're about to lose a lot of points here. I mean, I could put down a cannon, but it's a little late. We'll take the L. The cannon wouldn't have been a permanent solution for it, so I, I don't really particularly like that idea. Hydra rocket pods might be the strat that we're looking for. Oh my gosh, okay. Well, you know what? It's not permanent, but we do need some kind of... We need something. So, oh, what a waste of... What a humongous waste of money that we just had to incur for this. I hate that so much, dude. I hate that so much that that was what we just had to do in order to stop those leads. Oh, what a waste! 
Dude, I bet you Steve is killing it, and I am just falling so far behind. Oh, this is, em this is embarrassing for me. He's not able to be the only tower that I use, but he's definitely going to be useful. Oh my goodness, that is so cool. That is so cool. I just got those rocket pods. Come on, I don't even need... I need like a thousand more dollars, dude. That's really not even that much money. Like, come on, dude. There we go. Perfect. Hydro rocket pods. That's what I'm talking about, dude. And some of the camos are actually slipping by pretty nicely. All right. We have to go ahead and make sure every once in a while that we're readjusting the cannon's positions and getting them on track. Because the dude just love to teleport off track on us. All right, all right. This is good. This is good. So we have a sort of solution for lead balloons. Sort of. Let's go ahead and get down the Dark Knight. Now, we do have a problem with this as well, right? So with the Dark Knight, he... Actually, his range might end up getting good enough. Let's put it this way. He'll be able to hit at least part of the map, no matter where he is, with epic range. But doing that will get rid of Plasma Blasts. However, getting Dark Knight will allow him to hit Moab-class balloons. A Dark Champion lets him hit all balloon types. It's just very expensive. So I think... You know what, actually? Who needs the range? Because he's... Even without all the upgrades, it's going to be very rare. Like, unless he lands in that corner right there, which we can keep an eye out for, it might just end up being wasted. Let's let's do this thing. Let's do what I was saying. Let's go ahead and instead get Plasma Blast, go the bottom route, and let's just give it a try. I'm really curious. If it works out, great. If not, well, then uh, we're here to use the Mulligan, and we're horribly embarrassed. And we invited Steve to come here, and, uh, and he's just making a fool out of us, probably. Maybe if I chuck down one of these guys right at the beginning, and then we end up going Moab Mauler, middle route. Moab Assassin with bigger bombs and heavier bombs. Let's see it. Got it. That That is the play. Where's our Necromancer hiding at? Oh, he's right over here. I was gonna say, we need him for Shimmer so he can make the camo balloons appear, you know? Ooh, the mortar. If we went the bottom route of the mortar, that's also a really valid strat. That's actually an extremely valid strat because we can get signal flares on that. All right, let me just go ahead and grab this. Okay, we have our first one of these guys. Dude. Dude, that's not pretty. Okay, we need you in the fight, dude. That's not where we wanted you. Okay, he's just right over there. Dude, no, 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 no. Do not let this Moab through. He's getting through. Oh, my gosh. Well, I don't know how to tell Steve this, but we just died on wave 40, dude. This challenge is so hard. I need a new way to deal with the camos. What could be a good shot for camos? Counter espionage, I could strip them of their camos. I did call that Grandmaster might be a good play uh, earlier, so maybe that's that's the way to go. Alrighty, round 46. Let's see how Jerome did. Steve, I, uh, listen, but I'm a little embarrassed, all right? I'm a little embarrassed of how bad I did. I used my mulligan. Uh, the first time with the mulligan, I got to round 10. And then... Oh my goodness, what are you I'll, doing? Uh, I'll let you go, you go. How, how about you go for, how, how far did you make it? My first mulligan was on 40, and then I finished on 46. Your first How'd mulligan was on round 40? Yeah, the Moab really shredded it. I lost on round 40. <laughs> I lost on round 40 uh, on my good run, dude. You got to 46? I... How'd you beat the Moab? He was like not taking any damage. I ended up selling a couple of my towers and getting a Moab Assassin, oh, and that's how I took him out. Oh, you're smart, dude. I went mega dummy mode, and ugh. What was your big strap, by the way? I switched over to Dartling Gunners, and that worked out really well for me in my second attempt. I had a singular Dartling Gunner. Okay. Uh, and then I had a Druid that had Lightning and the Tornado, so it's pushing the balloons back. Dude, you went mega brain and on then this, and I just the, didn't. The, the uh, balloon glaive ricochet as well, so that that was also helping out with just the sheer number of balloons. What got me were the camos, though. Ah, uh, well, GG, buddy. Have this feeling.